Steve Heckeroth is the CEO of Select Track Tractors. Can you give us an overview of the uh, models that you're presently producing and what new models you've got coming down the line? Uh, one is the e-utility tractor, which is about a 40 horsepower equivalent, and it'll do any utility operations with a Category 1 three-point hitch and PTO. The, the other one is a CET. It's a compact electric tractor, smaller, very good for uh, things like hobby farms where you don't need to use it all day, um, and greenhouses where you don't want to have emissions in the greenhouse, and horse arenas. We also have two tractors in development. One, a, a much larger um, 70 horsepower model that will be used for vineyards and orchards and larger agricultural operations. Um, that tractor will have a front and a rear three-point hitch, so you can put an exchangeable battery pack on either the front or rear, depending on where you have the implement. And then we also have the eFarmer, which is made for uh, row crop farming applications where it has three hitches so you can see the mid hitch you can see what you're doing in front of you um, and then it has a front hitch that you can put a bucket or a reaper on and a rear hitch which is just for regular uh, category one implements with PTOs. How is the PTO driven? Is it driven off the main motor or does it have its own motor to drive the PTO? Well, the PTO on the tractors is driven through the transmission. It's usually about 20% less than the, the uh, pulling torque of the tractor. Um, so the, the CET behind me would be equivalent to about a 22 horsepower at the PTO. The utility is more like a 30 horsepower at the PTO, 25 to 30 horsepower at the PTO. The E70 will be more like a 60 horsepower at the PTO, and the E Farmer will be a 25 horsepower at the PTO. Okay, tell us a little bit about the battery technology that's used on your tractors. We use lithium iron phosphate batteries that do not burn. Um, they're good for about 3,000 cycles, so uh, they're a very long lived and, and uh, dependable battery. Using a 240 volt onboard charger, uh, it takes about three to, f to six hours to charge a battery pack, depending on which tractor. Um, they have different size packs, so somewhere between three and six hours. There's an onboard battery pack, which is only ch exchanged when uh, it dies, so probably it'd be more than 10 years before it would be exchanged and, and it just unbolts and, uh, and can be taken out and, and hooked back up uh, with a new one. Battery pack runs about $7,000 now. Um, the price has been dropping, so uh, probably by the time you need to replace the, the pack, it'll be a lot less than that. Tell us about the availability of your tractors, where they're being sold now, and how you see things coming down the road in the future. The compact electric tractor, we're mainly focusing on California and Canada now, but we plan to open up dealerships across the country. Are there presently any government incentives for using a tractor with an electric motor? In California, where we're based, there is a a program called the Farmer Program run through the California Air Resources Board that pays for 80% of the cost of replacing a polluting diesel tractor with a zero emission electric tractor. Steve, thanks for taking the time out of your schedule to come and chat with my audience about some of these things. I know a lot of us are wondering about electric tractors and whether or not uh, there's a future form in our own lives. So thank you again very much. Take care.